Sarah J, English major, writer, speaker, teacher, sovereign souls, sovereign seekers. It is great to be with you who are willing to take a stand for who you are and whose you are. Without that, putting God or the Creator, the source of all energy, into any particular box of words because we have become people safely divided by the boxes that we use with the words that are sacred swords. If we are willing to learn to wield them responsibly and wisely, which is what I've been doing, dealing with the summons I got for speaking at a rally, which who is to say what man or woman can say that I wasn't in my private capacity at the time that I spoke in public, but I remain in my private capacity with all rights reserved at all times. Who is to take, who is willing to take the stand and say I don't have the right to do so? Because whatever man or woman that is, is the bully that is ultimately coming up against me and it's not okay. And it's not okay that it is happening to our children. It is not okay that it is happening around the world according to agendas of those who would like to cast spells with Holly Wand as the way that they project the visions that they would like to befall us when we can simply say, mm, no, <laughs> I think not. So that is what we're going to be talking about tomorrow, the mind control programming and propaganda meeting is at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. UK time or uh, 11 a.m. if you're on Pacific time. We would love to have more switched on folk coming together to talk about the Milgram experiment the Stanford Prison Experiment. What is mass psychosis? What is cognitive dissonance? And how do we show love and kindness and compassion to create community collectively that will actually support the ones who are reintegrating aspects of themselves they previously left in a not now moment? So. These are some of the things that I love to talk about, and I am the founder of Peaceful Inner Warriors United, which is an initiative designed to bring to you who are open to understand the sacred sojourn of the soul that we are all on, that are willing to use the holistic practice in common unity with a community that supports and encourages and uplifts and does not tolerate bullying, within our group or outside of it either and also says I will not add any advice to you. No legal advice, no medical advice and furthermore I will not share my private medical status publicly because it's kind of like your virginity. Once you share your status, everyone knows. <laughs> so instead I simply say I reserve the right not to share my private medical status publicly and I would highly encourage others to do the same because if we actually reclaim our right not to share that which is no one else's business and if it is why how are they going to profit and who is they because if we don't know who we are dealing with it is an entity a corporate entity part of the corporeal body that would assume and consume the men and women and children that drop our standing as such into a status instead of having our own legs to stand on. We have been so deceived, it is disgusting, and it is hard to wake up from, and that's why tomorrow we're going to touch on cognitive dissonance. And we're also going to talk about how to support those who have been so disrespectful towards us because they needed us to go along with the story that they bought hook line and sinker and have not yet got sunk but when it comes we don't need to say I told you so we simply need to be ready to say we have a solution we have been learning how to use our trust in a respectful way, both to ourselves and to the community of common unity that we share as a collective. Now we have to start understanding there is a trust which we are all eligible for with our, with our birth certificate, 
and how it opened so many things with the fiat currency that's backed by nothing but our trust. Because this is the thing, I just said trust again, but I didn't mean it in the same context as the trust that is in my name, all uppercase, because that is capitis diminutio maximus, where it's maximally capitalized. All eyes have had their heads removed. And so it is just a man's body, stick figure, boxed in with caps on the top and bottom to make sure that nothing comes in and nothing comes out because forms require substance to contract. Contract, contractions, in labor we do it. But why is it that a woman gives birth? Doesn't a boat do that when it moves courtside? When we start understanding the bigger picture, I know you watching this likely get that, and I have no idea who you are, but I look forward to, because what I know is that we are the players on this field. We are the ones who are here to do what we came here to do, that we uniquely can do, are qualified for beyond this lifetime, because we have been training all the other lifetimes for this round. It's like in a video game. It's like you don't get to the final fight which is always what it is within a death cult, which is the cult you are, culture, culturally, cult you rally with, accepted BS, belief systems. You don't go to the final round and expect to win the first time specifically. You go to a few different levels beforehand and you can trade in your avatar when things don't go the way that you had planned in previous lifetimes and then now this one is the it, the final one. So what if it were true? What if we could get it right this time and need not fight no more? What if we could bring heaven to earth? What if it really is as simple as taking our power back from all the places that we gave it away to irresponsibly because we were taught that that is the way that it's supposed to be when I say no way. Sometimes I sing and I know it might turn some off of the message, but I trust that may be you can look beyond that and hear me say to your heart, I'd love to spark up a conversation and help you become more peaceful inside of yourself. And I'd love to share what it means. So come on the scene and let us be the players on the field as we actually already are. We just next to get to be the ones who stepped forward to do our part. Laura J, namaste, namago.